Hello there, my name's James. Welcome to my app, Facial Movement Recorder. It's been designed to help analyse facial weakness, facial asymmetry, unwanted facial movement, rapid facial movement, that kind of thing. Let me show you how it works. Right now, I've just got a big purple ring around my face and that's the app's way of saying that it's found my face. And if I press the big red button down the bottom, what the app is now doing is recording the values of 52 locations 60 times a second. So I can do a big smile, or I can do a big frown, and that information would have been recorded. Let me show you. I'm going to tap on the big red square now to stop it. And then I'm going to tap over here on the right hand side at this menu button to bring up the recordings. Now the one at the top is the one I've just recorded, so I'm going to tap on it to open it up. And here what you can see is a 3D visualization of the movements that I was making when I was speaking. And along the bottom we've got a progress bar, and I can tap on the play button on that progress bar, and we can see a replay of me speaking to you. And what I can do on this 3D model is tap and drag to move around, I can pinch to zoom in, or I can tap and drag with two fingers to pan around. So I can get exactly the right view that I want. I can also tap and drag inside the progress bar to actually go to exactly the moment in time that I want to. Then I can tap on the graph button on the left hand side to open up the exact values that I was recording. This menu has another progress bar, so I can tap on play in here, and we can see those 52 values that I was recording in real time. Now some of these values have a corresponding left and right hand side, so we can go to the symmetry tab and actually compare them to each other to start to analyse the symmetry of the face. If I want to see a bit more detail, I can tap on the value history tab, and now I can pan through a graph of the values that I was recording. I can tap on the symmetry history tab and then see similar graphs for all the symmetrical locations. If I select any of the symmetry pairs, for example, eye blink, or any of the values, for example, brow inner up, I get a larger preview and that will actually stay with me in the larger replay. So as I pan through, you'll see those values changing in real time. I can go back into the charts and turn them off by selecting none. I'm now going to tap on the menu button in the lower right corner to get a few more options. And with this menu, I'm going to go to the bottom and tap on all data. And this might look a bit overwhelming, but this is all of the data that was recorded. I can tap on one of the graphs and see a larger view of it. If I tap on one of the symmetry graphs, we can start to analyze the symmetry of this location. For example, we can see an average of the values, or we can see the difference of the values in case there's a bias. I'm now going to go back to the graphs and back to the replay, tap on the menu again, and this time tap on export. This will export the data in the recording as a CSV file, which I can open in any spreadsheet I like for further analysis. Tap on the background to get rid of that menu, tap on the menu again, and this time choose tags. This brings up a new window. What I can do here is tap on these tags to tag the recording so I know what was involved in it. Tap the cross to close that window, tap on the menu again, and now I can tap compare. This brings up all the other recordings, and if I select one, what I'm seeing now are graphs comparing this recording to the other. So if this was the same exercise, it would allow me to see any progress. Let's go back to the replay. Now in my recordings list on the left, I can tap to search in the top, so I can type in smile, and it shows me all the recordings that are tagged with smile. I can tap on cancel to get rid of that. Then I can tap on the tag button in the top right of the recording screen, and it shows me all the tags in the app. So I can tap on create new tag to create a brand new one. Maybe I'll call this one blowing. Then tap the button to create the new tag. Or I can tap an existing tag to rename it. For example, I could tap on frowning, and then just rename it to frown. And then tap on close to get rid of that screen. And let's tap on the camera button in the lower left to go back to the camera screen. So that's how to record a video of someone's facial movement, but we can also record just a photo. On this little menu down here, tap on photo, and then when you're ready, press the big white button, and then press the menu button again. Then select your photo at the top of the menu. Now we don't have a progress bar this time, but everything else works exactly the same. We've got the values, we've got the symmetry, and over on the left, 
we can see all the data, or we can export the data, tag the photo, compare the photo, just like a video. Let's go back to the camera again. There's a couple of other features of the app that I'd like to show you. The first is a live preview of the values that we're recording. If I tap on this button here, I can see the same graphs that I did in the replay. And I can see the symmetry, I can see a value history, and I can see the symmetry history. And if I tap on any of these, you can see a larger preview in the main window. So I could, for example, keep an eye on a certain things while I was exercising. I can open up the preview again and just tap on none to get rid of them. Now the last thing I'd like to show you is a feature designed to encourage people to use the app if they're uncomfortable with their facial appearance. I can tap on this little button in the bottom left and bring up the appearance menu. And then I can tap on blur. And this blurs my appearance so I can't see my face quite as clearly. I can even choose how much blur I want. But if I need a bit more definition than that, I can tap on wireframe and see a completely virtual reality mask. I can even choose what colour background I want. Or if I want something a bit more human looking, I can tap on mask. And then I can scroll down and choose a skin colour, an eye colour. Or if I want to focus on just my eyebrows, or just my lips, there are masks for that. This feature was actually implemented after speaking with Stroke Survivors. But I can go even further and actually mirror one side of my face onto the other. And if I close my left eye but keep my right eye open, both eyes on the mask close because my left side is being mirrored onto both sides of the mask. So if I had a strong side, I would see that side on both sides of the mask. We've also got one more mode, which is just for fun. All right. Thank you for using Facial Movement Recorder. If you'd like to get in touch with me, tap on the menu button down here and then tap on the I. And this brings up multiple different ways of getting in touch with me. And if you ever want to watch this video again, tap on the question mark and it'll bring you back here. I love to hear about how this software is being used by clinicians and academics, so please do get in touch. There are a lot more features planned for Facial Movement Recorder and I'd love for you to be a part of them. In the meantime, thanks for using Facial Movement Recorder.